gonna the whores. <laughs> managing whores. the whores. <laughs> the horrors. Hey you guys, so like and welcome to Marriage Mondays, where we spend Mondays talking about marriage. My name is Kamara. My name is Amir. And today we're gonna talk about how to manage the horrors of the wedding. Question, Question of the week. week. What's one thing that you are not paying for? You're like, we don't need this. It's unnecessary. When we say managing the horrors, we're just going to talk about um, some of the things that can occur while you're planning to get your marriage. While you're uh, planning to get while your marriage? While you're, we're going to talk about some of the things that... <laughs> oh, crap. We're going to talk, talk about some of the things that can occur while you're planning your marriage. and Planning your wedding. Planning your wedding. We're going to talk about some of the things that can occur while you're planning your wedding. Uh, some of the stresses that you may Faith. encounter and all the things that we're, we talk about are good to know because it'll help you to maintain an even keeled mind, which means that you'll be able to stay level headed. Don't expect your wedding to go exactly how you plan because nothing's going to start on time. Someone's always going to be late. Some event may not happen. Certain mm -hmm. things may happen that you didn't plan. Mm -hmm. So kind of be prepared for the unexpected to happen. Like get an idea of how you want how you want your wedding to go with room for like innovation. Because believe it or not, um, the wedding is not for you. Okay, it's not. you think you think in your mind you're like I'm getting married, you know, but you're not getting married. You know, it's the people that are coming to your wedding. They're the ones that's get, that are getting married. You're doing all of this planning. Everything that you're doing is for them. Yeah, it's right? their wedding. It's, it's like your parents' it's wedding. Literally, it's literally almost the equivalent of a business, right? You're putting on a show for other people. So, Which means if you're doing something for someone else, when you're advertising, right? You don't advertise for yourself. You advertise for other people. So your wedding isn't for you. It's, and, you know, if you have certain parents, you, you'll realize that it's their wedding. Yeah, that's what we were told. It's their mm. wedding. They didn't get to experience what you're experiencing, so now they're gonna live vicariously through you. What's the next thing, babe? What's the next thing? What's the next thing? I did say the next thing. Oh, is it your turn? What is it? So you need to budget properly and budget to like, you know, the final details because the wedding's gonna be more expensive than you thought. Like, yeah, it's never, things are gonna come whatever, up. Whatever, yeah, whatever your level of, like, whatever you think your level of the wedding is, like. Um, raise it up a notch raise it up like like have like a 10 percent, maybe 20 percent buffer right so if you which means if you're planning for your wedding to cost um and say five thousand dollars 20 percent is you know five thousand quick math how can we have a buffer you know like if we don't have enough save money yeah we can save money or we can cut we can cut things cut yes, costs you can cut costs cut, cut. right or what you do is you don't tell people how much money you actually have, and you tell them a lower amount that you're willing to spend. All right. So you're you want to. You talking like vendors? Like no, things? I'm saying that if you're planning a wedding, right, and say you have five or six thousand dollars, you're like, okay, I can afford a four thousand dollar wedding. Try to make it happen, and then they're gonna be like, well, we gotta do this, we gotta do that. She needs henna. Uh, uh, he, uh, you, you need, need a, the photographer. You, you need a photographer. You need a suit. You need a better suit and a better dress. You need two dresses. All right. Maybe yeah. two rings. Oh yeah, you know uh, two rings. You need the two so, rings. So, so then, then you'd be like, all right, man, free. So now you're getting into closer to your, you know, your your four or five thousand dollar, whatever. You're going up. And it's fine and because you 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 know you yeah, have that buffer. You, you you have that buffer and you plan. But then if you're like if you're like all right, you only have five thousand dollars and you tell them okay we can work at five thousand. Then when they're like man this is gonna be more expensive this is gonna be more expensive you can be like man, <laughs> don't start pulling out your neck. You don't want to be a yes man, um, which means that you don't want to be saying yes to everything because that's definitely gonna increase your costs possibly oh, exponentially. Yeah. And, yeah. and so you have to be able to stand your ground on certain things that are unnecessary and that you're unwilling to pay for. And unrealistic. Like, you can't be like, bro, my pockets ain't that deep. Mm -hmm. I can't get a DJ right. and a smoke machine. It's either right. one or the other. And that's when uh, arguments start to happen. Arguments will happen right. when you get married. Like, if you watched our, if you watched our story, you'll know that Amir was on the verge of leaving me. Even though we didn't uh, even argue, but... Yeah, I mean, you, you, you'll get in the argument. You, you're, you're, during the process, you are going to get in an argument with either your spouse 
or with someone, from, someone your from the family, someone from your family. Um, or the two families will get into a little argument. And yeah. Wasn't a little argument. So just know that, that that can happen and be aware, be prepared. When all of this, these things are happening, right, maybe some of them have happened or maybe just one of them or a few of them and the stress starts to wane on you, um, you might think about calling everything off like, man, he or she isn't worth this. Like I'm not, I'm not, I don't feel like doing, doing or this. Or just too much stress. I can't handle this. I yeah. just, I'm just done. Like don't do it. Like cut things down, cut your costs down, you know, cancel some bookings that you did, mm -hmm. like do what you can to de-stress, but you don't mm -hmm. gotta leave your fiance, you know? Yeah. Don't like not marry the person that you like love and you want right. just because of the stresses. Like that's the mm -hmm. shaitan telling you you can't handle it. Just mm -hmm. cut things off. Like, you know, he doesn't want you in that the right. halal life. This is before your marriage, right? You guys aren't really even married, married. You know, you guys are, well, possibly. You could be. You, yeah, could, you could be, be like married, married, but not like married, 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 married you know? Hey, if, you're, if you're Muslim, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, all right. So as Muslims, I'll give you a quick rundown. We have, uh, say it, walima, what is it? Nikah. So as, as Muslims, we have a nikah, and then we have a walima, all right? So the nikah gets you married. So in Allah's eyes, you're married, all right? The walima is a celebration of the actual marriage. Yeah, basically, ceremony versus reception. Right, right. And some people look at the ceremony as like an engagement, even though you're actually like religiously married. Right. So, so why do we bring yeah, that up again? You say, you know, you're, you might, you're planning, oh, to, yeah, you're, yeah, you're planning yeah. to get married, yeah. you're married, but yeah. you're not really married. Yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. it is yeah. what it is. Yeah, I remember that's what we're And um, while you're doing this, you got to realize that it's, it's one day, okay? Unless it's three. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. Most people have it one day, all right? It's, it's, it's about, it's basically one day. And in the American Muslim culture, we're having one day weddings. Yeah, but I mean, there's also like the henna night, you know? That's very common for everybody. All that stuff is, is, is leading up to the big day, you know? Mm -hmm. Anyways. Anyway. On that day, you're going to enjoy yourself, right? Yeah, you're going to be, um, I mean, it's going to be regardless, stressful It's, it's, it's going to be a little stressful, but, you know, when, when it's all said and done, you're going to have so much relief and you're going to, you know, you're going to be, it's going to be you and your wife. So keep that in mind. Like, you know, once I finish this, it's me and you. Yeah. Inshallah. That's it. And that's the that's the most important part, being with the person that you you love or the person that you want to want to build a really good bond with and relationship. And so, you know, may Allah make it easy. I mean, and, and you know, like a quick tip to to, you know, make sure it's not too stressful is to have a simple wedding. Yeah. You know, if it's mm -hmm. simple, you know, give them guests some dates and milk and you're good. Right. Sit down on some pillows. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wanted to do dates and milk, and that's it. But yeah, my mom was like, "No." The, the, the reason why we're making this video is because you know it's wedding you, season. It's, it's wedding. Well, it's, it's the end wedding, of wedding it's season. Ending, end of wedding season. Of so summer people are. Season. These are the horrors that you may see, and if you let any of these horrors take it take too far and like stress you out too much, then you know you'll be calling off a wedding. Yeah. <laughs> but now that you know most of the horrors that can occur. Horrors? Horrors that you can accord and <laughs> sorry, you're, freak. no, you're freaking fault. messing me up. Man. So you're saying like some really annoying things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm saying really annoying things. Uh, all right. So now that you know some of the horrors that you can encounter, um, it'll be easier for you to stay level-headed, even keeled. The most important thing, you know, that you should have is patience. Yeah, because you're going to need it your wedding day, mm -hmm. and you're going to need it after. Yeah. You're going to need it after that, too. You're going to need it if you start a wedding channel with your wife. You're going to need it so you don't, you know, physically harm your husband. <laughs> you want to keep going? Let's keep, let's keep going. You want to keep, keep this going? Let's keep going. Let's no, see. I what, think, what I think the video's done. No, nah, man. I think the video's you're gonna, done. You're going to need it if you're ever thinking about getting a second wife, definitely. Oh wow! Oh wow! Two, two oh wow! <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> I think we're done. <laughs>